Welcome back to another random vlog. Random Andrew here. I am at Dan Patterson's just north of St. Thomas on Highbury Avenue getting ready to take the earthbound misfit out on a little trip down the Kettle Creek. We've got our fun planned. We've got our fun planned. So I just thought I'd take this chance to film an intro. I'm waiting for Brother Craig is coming with me. He's bringing the nephew Joshua and uh, yeah, another fun camping experience. This will be Josh's second trip down the river. Me and Craig, I think we lost count probably about 15 years ago. Not down the river, but the trips to this place. Anyhow, I'm distracted because I'm wanting to get to the point of there was something going on here today. And I think I'm going to film just a quick little walk around of it to kick off this camping vlog from Dan Patterson's. We're starting here. Oh, I never talked to Craig about where we're supposed to do the pickup because Dalewood, if you remember the video last couple of days ago, we can't go to Dalewood to end our camping trip because cars can't get down there to pick up the canoe and that's a heck of a hill to carry them up. It's a busy day on Highbury. By the way, this entire camp trip, starting with today's vlog, is going to be filmed in super vivid color. You like how I've walked in the light as I say that? Now, here at Dan Patterson's, they were doing some kind of a historical show. I've seen absolutely no advertising about it, no indication this was going on. It was the Elgin Historical Show. It went from the 10th to the 12th, and I completely missed out. I see a couple interesting things. We'll take a look at real quick while they are still here. Now some people, they might see this old tractor and be like, oh, it's an old tractor. But it's the age of it. You don't see them kicking around this age anymore. How's it going? I guess I kind of missed out, eh? Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm all about local history and stuff. Oh, no. Doing videos all the time, and I didn't see a single thing advertised for this. So I would have been out for both it, days. Yeah. We yeah. were here since Thursday. Since Thursday? Yeah, setting up. Then the next, uh, that'll be Thursday, Friday, we were setting up for a while, and then Saturday was a big day. Oh, so I missed out big time then. And then <laughs> Sunday, we closed here around about 4, 4 o'clock or so. I'll have to keep a closer eye next year, because uh, just from what remains, I know you guys probably had this whole area filled, but from what remains, it's making me really wish I had gotten out and oh, seen yeah. it. Yeah, this... Uh, maybe quite as many tr tractors this year but uh, it was a good crowd love that yeah we had the uh, one three of the big steam engines here oh really and one was working like the steam engine tractors with the old steel tires yeah and, oh, and one I would have loved uh, to see those the big steam one was over here uh, thrashing running the big trash machines. Oh man. You can still see some of the... I moved them yet? Yeah. yeah. Okay. They had a big steamer on that one. Oh, I'll have to get a look, closer look at that guy too. And he was <laughs> over there and then there was the uh, woodcutters uh, cutting up logs and that. I, I didn't even see that the Elmer Fair was going this weekend either until the, the very last day. Yeah? Yeah. Right, so a little bit of chatting with some of the older fellas here telling me about the event that was going on sounds like we missed quite an event the next year we'll make sure we don't miss out but I spent so much time talking I want to get doing a walk around and this right here okay I've shown you guys this place before this little cabin Dan Patterson's cabin never ever have I caught it open before so let's go on in and have us a quick look around I hope the super vivid color is actually helping everything show up really good. Isn't that awesome? And then they've got the uh, an exhibit showing canning jars, cookie biscuit tins, baking utensils, tobacco items, glass bottles, jars, and the owner is a Joan Mansell 
promote on Ferguson Line. That is awesome. You know, this whole lower table looks like my mom's kitchen. She still makes use of a lot of those regularly. A little bass in it. A buggy, a carriage. An old sigh. And there he is there, Mr. Dan Patterson himself. May 4th, 1984. August 7th, 1968. Sorry, 1884 to 1968. And nowadays, most of us could only hope to make it that far. That's a great old sketch. 1834. This one says 1831. Down in the bottom corner here. Wow. Look at that stuff, guys. That is incredible. And then, of course, tell me, do you have Prince Albert in a can? If you do, you better let him out. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. It looks like they had quite the setup here. A turn of planter. Great display for the Elgin County District for Home and Country Women's Institute. Oh, I probably shouldn't. I probably shouldn't. It works in everything. Can you believe that? Oh, wow. Oh, I'm really, really glad. I decided to poke my head in here and have a look around. All right, I'm gonna go take a peek at my, I'm gonna take a peek at my camping equipment. And then we'll uh, check out the few remaining things over here. And there is an upstairs as well. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see anything up there. Please let me know if you can. Because I can't see anything from down here. And if you look at, I want to point this out too. The old barn on the Escort farm is made of these exact same kind of timber logs, whatever you call them. Lincoln logs. Okay. Very low ceiling. Watch your head. Okay, camping stuff's okay. So over the course of their historical show on the weekend, he was telling me that they actually had steam engine tractors, you know, the kind with the solid steel wheels, with the threshing machines. Yeah, back in those days. And they were doing threshing show or threshing demonstrations out here that would have been pretty interesting to catch because it's just not something that's done that way anymore it's a very old practice and it's part of that whole showing preserving documenting showcasing history and yeah i talked to the uh, kcca kettle creek conservation authority they have absolutely no problem with people putting their canoes in here and everything Kind of figured that though. Wow. I know I've said wow a lot guys, but this is cool. Uh, down in Thamesville, they do a great big threshing festival. So you'll see all this kind of equipment there. But this is the belt drives. Uh, I know I do have a few older viewers that are probably like, yep, we used to have to work with that kind of equipment. I uh, do have quite a few younger viewers that are going to be like, what the heck is thrashing? Whew, all the little bugs flying around. Yeah, we sure missed out on an event here. Would have been kind of interesting. So like I said, next year we'll have to make sure that we don't miss out. Would you have a look at this little guy? Ah, I like it. It's just a little tractor. Like if you could see perspective, me standing next to it, the highest part, those lights don't even come up to my shoulders. So it's just a little guy. But I bet you it's a little powerhouse. 
You see the, the crank start on the front? That's great. I like it. So yeah, I started showing you guys this old Massey earlier. My grandfather, my grandpa Eskret, so the ones who farmed most, he farmed most of his life in the Ridgetown area, Merlin area, they were king and queen of flying farmers. So when it come to old farm equipment, they knew to hang on to that old stuff. They, they knew the value and worth in it. So when I see something like that, it's just like, that is cool. Brings back memories of my grandpa. Before I show you guys this old Ford, can't help but notice this pump. Steamboat engine. How do I know? It says it right there. Owned by Paul Barrett of Glanworth. This is an old steamboat engine. Can you imagine just having something like that to horse around with fire up every once in a while? That would be fun. Just, you know, the whole practice of running the engine. So yeah, this old Ford. And I know Chev guys versus Ford guys versus Dodge guys. When it comes to this age, you just gotta appreciate it. It doesn't matter what it is. If it's survived to this age, dang. That, that's gotta be a testament to it. Isn't that beautiful though? Grapes of Wrath, that's what it makes me think of. Not much room. Little truck like that. Me and maybe half another person. That is awesome. So again, we may have missed a historical show, but we got to have a look inside Dan Patterson's cabin, which I've never seen before. And I'm pretty sure most of you guys watching have never seen inside there before. Cool. So this will be kind of bonus vlog material. Yeah. So by now you're watching and you're thinking, well, I thought this was a camping vlog. Well, it was. It started out that way. I'm going to have to refilm that intro and release this as a whole new separate vlog. So thanks for watching, guys. Next year, we'll make sure we don't miss out. That's pretty awesome stuff right there. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Appreciate your support, and we'll see you next time. Vlog over.